Biden non-state of union threatens opposition and labels, quote, we the people, unquote, the government. And now this is a story that I just put out today, early this morning. It doesn't have a lot of traffic yet. Hasn't really hit, hit the world yet. So usually, in general, I pick the top most popular stories to talk about on the show the next day. But I'm making an exception here. And you're going to notice also I have a lot more links here. And this is really... I'm going to be just going through loosely about how the media is covering this, the left, right, and the ostensible neutral. There is no such thing. They're, if, they're, if they're neutral, they're left. And when I say left, I mean, as I always say in this show, I'm not really talking about an actual leftist ideology. I'm really talking about a right-left ideology. It's an ideology that uses all the language of the left. It appeals to all the people that the left appeals to, but uses incredibly right-wing authoritarian tactics. So that's what we're talking about here. I always want to make that clarification. So I'm just going to go through here a bunch of uh, links. I got 32 links that I put in. Usually my reports are eight eight links. This is 32 because I really wanted to get a wide, wide girth of what's going on here. Joe Biden's State of Union State of Media Address. Biden's State of Union Address draws praise from DNC media. Alarm for everyone from everyone else. That's the topic report from Beacon Free Beacon. Biden threatens political opponents in rambling tirade. Can't stop me now. And this President Joe Biden, the excerpt President Joe Biden on Wednesday said his political opponents can't stop him from moving forward with his controversial agenda. During a rambling address to a mostly empty House chamber in Capitol Hill, the president's smooth forehead glistened under the lights, a marble of cosmetic remedy. America is moving forward, but we can't stop now by Barden Bark. Doing nothing is not an option. I don't even know what that means. It, you're the they're ostensibly claiming here without saying it that there's something is the object it's it's a false equivalency that that somehow their choice is between doing what they propose or doing nothing mm -hmm. two women sat behind him in historic fashion one of them house speaker nancy pelosi more fashionably be fashionably dressed than the other okay that's just petty but okay the president's shameful history of plagiarism reared its head again when biden shoplifted former president donald trump's buy american initiative and attempted to pass it off as his own he repeated his inscrutable false claim about having traveled more than seventeen thousand miles with chinese president xi jinping i'm not sure if that's something to brag about Biden thanked pol politicians for the fact that so many Americans have received a COVID-19 vaccination, vaccination, but declined to credit health care workers, much less Trump and Operation Warp Speed, launched almost one year ago today to the widespread derision of so-called science expert and experts and unaccredited media pundits. So that's our top link that I chose. And that represents the view of the right. But even as the right goes, it's a more tempered response from the right. Hollywood celebrities gush over Joe Biden's congressional address. Ugly crying. World's a better place now. This is from Breitbart. Uh, Newsbusters. Uh, CBS Law's progressive Biden's bold partisan speech built on simplicity. Biden unveils American family's plan, promises to turn peril into possibility. That's from France24.com. From The Guardian UK, we get GOP's Tim Scott delivers a rebuttal to Biden's speech with Trumpian talking points. Then we get The Federalist. This is from the right. Did Democrats forget the 1983 Senate bombing? And this is an interesting thing. President Joe Biden claimed during his first State of the Union address that the January 6th Capitol riot was, quote, the worst attack on our democracy since the Civil War, unquote. I, I don't know that 9-11 uh, might have been a worst attack. And uh, well, anyway, there's a there's a lot more worse attacks between the Civil War and the uh, the so-called whether, whether you want to call them riots or insurrections or or protests gone bad, whatever they are, I, and I, I don't pretend to, to wander into that weed, into those weeds. And in part, you can't wander into weeds of so many stories because there's very few factions out there, very few news outlets out there willing to try to look at things to some degree dispassionately and quote-unquote objectively. Moments after the transcript of the speech's opening went public before the address, Washington am amateur examiner, chief congressional correspondent, Susan Fariccio tweeted, History made as Pelosi and Harris sit behind Biden during presidential elect, 
pre presidential left. <laughs> That's very, wow. Uh, well, this is from Politics USA, which is the Stephen Crowder of the right. And Stephen Crowder is the Politics USA of the right. I can't have a show go by where I don't rip on Stephen Crowder. Sorry. Joe Biden says U.S. is ready for takeoff at first address to Congress. That's Express UK. Scott outshines Biden and rages lives with inspiring tale of overcoming adversary, adversity from Free Beacon. Joe Biden to the U.S. America is rising anew from breakingnews.ie. America's democracy is rising anew, Biden declares in first address to Congress, Euronews.com. I don't see how that is. They're literally trying to push through Congress uh, mass mailer election codification. Nobody should countenance a mass mailer election ever if you actually believe in quote unquote democracy. And we're not even a democracy. Well, we're ostensibly we're a republic, not a democracy. Very different. Biden's champion, Biden champions government's role with message for bro both parties. Analysis. That's from abcnews.com. Nobody should champion government's role. Joe Biden proposes crippling taxes, strangling regulations, and completely unsecure elections in primetime speech, red state. And I would just go back to the championing. If, if government has to step in and take care of the problem, that means we humans have failed. So uh, I'm not saying that in some areas uh, I'm, uh, you, you, you do... Uh, well, I'll say I'm, I'm not going to argue that you don't need government for things, but it's, it should never be your first choice. I'll just say that. Biden seeks shift in how the nation serves its people from New York Times. Biden pitches once in a generation investment to Congress from BBC UK. Biden just obliterated the GOP, GOP's trickle down economics with the world watching from politics USA. Oh, I love them. I hate them, but I love them. Uh, key takeaways from Biden's first address to a joint session of Congress from ABC News. Biden urges ban on assault weapons, claiming it worked before. No, it didn't from the blaze. CNN laughs, accuses tenor, Senator Tim Scott of tokenism and Uncle Tom for GOP. Newsbusters.org. Yeah, the, the racism of the, the right authoritarian left is uh, very telling in how they be, deal with black people that fall outside of their accepted orthodoxy america is not a racist country from yahoo news gop response biden and democrats pulling u.s apart biden claims u.s billionaires made one trillion during pandemic senator tim scott urges uh, that is from washington examiner senator tim scott urges country to reject biden's socialist dreams in his gop rebuttal from huff post already before his speech abc nbc laud biden's hopes popular agenda from newsbusters China closing in fast, Biden warns Congress as he asks for trillions in spending from Channel News Asia. Biden delivers a dress flanked by Pelosi and Harris in historic first from NPR. Uncle Tim trends on Twitter after Tim Scott delivers GOP response to Biden address Daily Caller. And I think we've run out of time here. We're already over eight minutes, which is way over. And I may end up doing some report in the future, maybe even today, about the whole Tim Scott thing, because that might warrant its own attention. And with that... There you go. That's just a little bit of taste of uh, what the media outlets of all the different flavors are saying.